as the number of obese patients doubled each year since 1996, WHO has declared obesity as one of the world's severe health problems. Obesity is a serious illness as it can lead to other deadly diseases such as high blood pressure, diabetes, and fatty liver. What makes this illness draw more attention is because it has been appearing in little children as well. Children who eat well and are chubby are no longer considered healthy. Will my child be okay this way? Let's take a look at some ways children can escape from obesity. Recently, obese children have been going to the pediatrics. They say one out of five elementary school children in Korea is diagnosed as being obese, and this number has been increasing each year. Compared to 1994, the number of obese children has quadrupled in 2003, and the number of children suffering from adult diseases has increased six times. The ages that are categorized as child obesity are from children to adolescents, and more than half of these obese children show symptoms before the age of six. These children show symptoms for other related diseases such as hyperlipidemia, which is 61.7% of those obese children, and fatty liver, which is 30.6%. Hyperlipidemia is when fat density in the blood increases and makes the blood become sticky and thick. Once this gets severe, fat piles up along the arteries, causing arteriosclerosis that can lead to deadly diseases such as paralysis, angina, pectoris, and myocardial infarction. This needs to be treated at an early stage in life before fat hardens along the arteries. Once the patient reaches the age of 30 to 40, it is almost impossible to cure. The life-threatening illnesses caused by childhood obesity does not stop here. When comparing the fat cell of a child with an adult, the number of fat cells for children increases, whereas the adults just simply expand in size. Once the number of fat cells increases at a young age, it provides a greater chance for the patient to build fat within the fat cells that have been expanded once he or she is fully grown. When looking at the percentage of childhood obesity leading to adulthood, a six-month-old child has a 14% chance, whereas 10 to 13-year-olds have a 70% chance. Then what is the main cause of the increase in childhood obesity? As the economy prospers, so does the eating culture of a country. People eat more and enjoy the comfort of modern living. If you are worried about your child becoming obese, you should first visit the hospital. Child obesity can be categorized in two ways. Obesity can simply result from eating too much or it can be caused by another illness in the body. There is a way to measure the severity of obesity, which is called the BMI. First, double your height and divide the number with your weight. If the number is above 25, it is considered as normal. But if the number is above 35, it is considered obese. Another way we can diagnose obesity is to test the thickness of the skin. Depending on the age and gender, the thickness of the wrinkles on the skin can show the degree of obesity. A 12-year-old child named Kyung Hwan has been worrying about his weight. In order to test the fat level in his body, he went in for a CT. 
Through this test that accurately analyzes his fat structure in his body, he was diagnosed as being obese. Gotro baso, kenchanan saram in dedo, chesong bung bom saramianun, ah, piman ida gona un gyong wais. Katun bom mugera hadredo, kunyuge yang and juko, umjiki mi obsoso, chibang e yangi mansimita. But in other words, the person's face is less than the face of the face. In other words, the face of the face is less than the face of the face. In other words, the face of the face is less than the face of the face. That person is like a small man. The ones children are diagnosed as being obese, they're treated differently from adult patients. Now, since children are still in their development stage, chemical treatments and surgeries are not recommended. Instead, they go through a diet or an exercise program. One way to treat childhood obesity is to control what the child eats. The doctor recommends a balanced diet for the child and the family. A balanced diet refers to a meal with the three main nutrients which are carbohydrate, protein, and fat. For adulthood obesity, doctors recommend reducing the amount of food for every meal. However, since children are still in their development stage, their body requires much nutrition. And for each individual, the amount of nutrition required differs as well. After consulting with the doctor, Kyung Hwan has been going through an exercise therapy to reduce built up fat in his body. By exercising, the patient can reduce the stress level in the body, control blood pressure by calming the senses, and enhance the overall metabolism. All of the functions of the organs become stabilized as well. In addition, it can also prevent arteriosclerosis by breaking down the HDL particles, which increases the positive cholesterols in the body. The third way you can treat obesity is to fix daily habits from eating to lifestyle. Park Chun-mi has been treating her children's obesity by providing a balanced diet. Sung Wan went to the market with his mom. Unlike children his age, he doesn't like instant foods, but goes straight to the vegetable section. Another healthy way she treats obesity is by adding various grains and beans with rice. She provides a well-balanced dinner with protein, carbohydrate and fat along with dishes that are not fried but steamed or heated. The way you eat your meal is also important. Once the food is in your mouth, put the spoon down and chew slowly. 
It is because our body feels the fullness in the stomach 20 minutes after food enters. Many TV and newspaper advertisements have been luring people with various high-priced dietary products. Let's try to find something healthy and nutritious that we can easily obtain around us. Obesity can result from excessive production of a hormone called insulin that transforms sugar into fat. Obesity can also occur if the body absorbs nutrients too well. The taste buds of children have been adjusted to the salty and spicy flavors of instant foods, which are usually high in calories and are fattening lacking in other daily recommended nutrition. On the other hand, beans, barley, brown rice, seaweed, and various fruits are known to be great dietary foods. What kinds of nutrients are inside these foods that make them good for a diet? The juice from rice, beans, barley, and brown rice was put into an amino acid decomposer. It was proven that the vegetable amino acids contained in beans, barley, and brown rice did not form any fat inside the body. This time we tried to analyze the substances from these items to see the production of cholesterol. Upon checking out the fiber level from the collected substances, the results showed that eight times greater amount of fiber compared to rice was found from beans and barley, which is great for curing obesity. Barley, brown rice and beans had more nutrients than rice as well. Therefore, these results show us that these foods are better for the fight against obesity. Yet 아, 콜레스테롤 억제 효과가 있기 때문에 고혈압이나 당뇨 그리고 또 비만 방지 효과가 있을 수 있습니다. 그리고 또 최근에 먹기, 먹기 시작한 아, 현미 속에는 현미에도 현미의 그 껍질 속에는 현, 맨 외피 속에는 아, 식물성 스테롤을 풍부하게 가지고 있고 올리고당뇨뿐만 아니라 조섬유 함량이 높기 때문에 비만 방지 효과를 아, 나타낸다고 할수 있겠습니다. And many children tend to dislike beans, sesame seeds, and brown rice that are known to be good for the body. So why don't we go ahead and find out some ways we can add these ingredients into a dish to make it more appealing for children. 네, 안녕하세요. 네, 안녕하세요. 어서 오세요. 예, 아이들이 좋아하는 건강 음식이 참 많다 그래서 찾았는데요. 네. 네. 어떤 것들이 있는지 좀 소개시켜 주세요. 네, 콩 불고기하고 현미 잡곡 김밥, 그리고 미역 샐러드. 예, 그런 게 있습니다. 네. Bean bulgogi that has been made by mixing steamed beans and vegetables. After freezing the chunk of bean bulgogi, cook it with olive oil. It appears to be similar to beef bulgogi, but it is made out of beans. It contains a great amount of nutrients and calories that one needs. By adding sliced vegetables such as carrot, onion, and cucumber, you can easily make bean bulgogi. Since you can make it at home, it can become one of the children's favorite dishes. 
In addition, children can enjoy the healthy brown rice barley kimbap. Barley is able to lower the cholesterol level and brown rice is rich in vitamin E. It is a delicious snack to have which is also healthy. Seafood salad that is rich in fiber can be mixed with peanut dressing to suit the taste of little children. Then what must follow a healthy meal? Of course, you must exercise on a daily basis. Well, there are many exercises that even little kids can follow along. So let's go inside a kids' fitness center and take a look. Another way you can prevent childhood obesity is to make children run around and enjoy huge movements. For children that are too young to go to school yet, you can allow them to do simple gestures to burn off the fat. 이 조금 전에 아이들이랑 같이 했던 일동들이 어디에 좋은 거죠? 아이들이 좋아하는 뭐 동요라든가 뭐 흥겨운 노래로 같이 들으면서 일동을 하기 때문에요. 아이들이 이제 움직임 자체를 즐길 수 있고 그리고 활동량이 많아지기 때문에 비만한 아이들을 위해 비만 예방이 아주 좋습니다. 그럼 이런 일동들 외에도 집에서 아이들이 쉽게 부모님과 할수 있는 동작들이 있나요? 예, 어린이들이 집에서 간단하게 할수 있는 스트레칭하고요. 엄마랑 같이 할수 있는 어린이 요가가 있습니다. 자, 먼저 양 발을 어깨 너비만큼 벌려 주시고요. 손은 붙여서 하늘로 높이 뻗쳐 주시고요. 높이 하늘로 그냥 날아간다는 기분으로 다리는 업한 상태로 오랫동안 버티고 계시면 되는 거예요. 자, 여기서 애들은 오래 못 버티니까 한 5초 정도면 되거든요. 애들한테 같이 숫자를 세자고 하고요. 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯 하고 내려 주시면 되는 거예요. Imitate Superman flying in the sky. This position will tighten your muscles and build strength in the lower body. 자 손을 깍지를 끼시고요. 왼쪽 팔은 쭉편 상태로 오른쪽 발을 접어주시고요. 고개는 반대쪽 보시면 돼요. 다시 앞으로 와서 반대쪽 방향으로 왼손 잡아당기시고 오른쪽 펴시고 고개는 반대쪽 보시면 돼요. 다시 앞으로 와서 내려주시면 됩니다. The home run position allows you to twist your waist and sides. This can burn fat around the abdominal area and also make the upper body become more flexible. 자, 발 바닥을 붙여 주시고요. 손은 발가락을 잡아 주시고요. 발이 다리가 몸 안쪽으로 가깝게 오신 다음에요. 허리 펴, 펴시고 어깨 내리시고 그대로 핀 상태로 앞으로 숙여 주시면 돼요. 여기도 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯 그대로 허리 편 상태에서 올라와 주세요. This is called the snail position. As you place your feet together and pull towards your body using your hands, straighten your back while bending all the way down. This will ease your leg and hip muscles while treating your lower body. There are other ways you can help your child fight obesity. By massaging the focal points in the body, you can enhance the body's overall blood circulation. 네, 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 네, 지금 하시는 이 경락 마사지가 소아 비만에 어떻게 좋은 거죠? 음, 경락을 생각하면 장부를 조절한다고 생각하거든요. 그래, 어린 생명, 어린 아이들은 이 장부가 같이 서로 연계되어 있는 그런 기능들이 원활하지 않기 때문에 한쪽으로 네. 치우쳐 갖고 그러니까 편중되기 때문에 비만이 될 경우가 많이 있기 때문에 어, 이 경락으로 인해 갖고 어, 도와줄 수 있는 그런 방법이에요. 이 경락이요. 그래서 네. 서로의 장부가 자기가 할수 있는 일을 원활히 할 때에는 그 먹은 만큼 그대로 다 몸에서 흡수하는 것이 아니라 배출이 그만큼 잘 이루어질 수 있게 하면 양을 많이 먹어도 에너지 대사량은 굉장히 크잖아요. 아이들이. 네. 그래서 양을 많이 먹어도 자기에게 꼭 필요한 양만 자기가 몸에 남기고 그 다음 다 버리면 비만으로 이어지지 않거든요. 그래서 그 방법을 도와줄 수 있는 방법으로 하기 때문에 경락이 아이들 비만에 도움을 줄수 있어요. 
When massaging children under the age of 13, it is performed gently so the body doesn't feel any pressure. Let's learn how that can be done on obese children. By stimulating the focal points and the arteries along the backbone, you can help with the blood flow in the body. Also, massaging the lower stomach helps smoothen and enhance the functions of the organs. In addition, there is a massage that can stimulate the stomach, large and small intestines, which can help release waste easily from the body. By doing this technique, you should be able to see results in three to four months. Three focal points around the knee, you can get rid of built up fat around the thighs and calves if performed for three months. You can prevent childhood obesity just by having accurate prevention tips. Now it is time for us to ease our curiosity about child obesity. For sensitive children, being obese can be a huge burden. It is important for the entire family to work together to prevent childhood obesity since it can't be treated alone. Try to plan out a weekly meal with nutritious foods and enjoy exercising together. You can stop childhood obesity from carrying on to adulthood with continuous efforts. <laughs>